Good morning. Today is July 26, 2021, and I want to welcome you to Lord of Life for this daily devotion. I'm Rob Henderson, and it is a privilege to join you this morning. In Matthew, uh, Jesus tells us, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Don't hide your light under a basket, but let it shine. As Christians, Jesus calls us salt and light. We add flavor to the world. We also shine the light of Christ so that the good and the positive and the hopeful are illuminated. Reflecting on the past year, we are in a much better place than we were just 12 months ago and even just six months ago. And still there are many opportunities around us, many dark places for us to shine the light of Christ. There are emerging variants in COVID which are causing new restrictions in many places. There are monsoons, monsoon rains which have displaced 100,000 people in China, flooding in Europe and Arizona. Fires out west, the hurricane season has begun, a building collapsed in Miami. It is easy to be overwhelmed by the many places where the needs are so significant. And it is into this situation that Jesus calls us to be salt and light, to add flavor to the world and to brighten the corner where we can. Over the years, I have marveled at how folks have taken this call to heart. It has been called paying it forward or random acts of kindness. It happens on mission trips. It happens here as we offer food and drink to those in need. Folks have added flavor to the world in simple ways, by calling a friend that they've been missing or writing a note or reaching out to someone who's going through a challenging time. Others have shined the light of Christ by driving someone to an appointment or dropping off groceries, or visiting a lonely neighbor. Last year, at the height of the pandemic, a high school student came and helped us here at the church, ran errands for members of the congregation, and when needed, recruited his buddies to help him do so. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Jesus calls us to add flavor and to illuminate those hopeless places so that people can find hope. I want to thank you for joining us this morning. I invite you to join us each morning at 1130 for our daily devotion. A reminder that this Sunday, August 1st, we add our 815 worship service back. So worship will once again take place at 815, 931, and 1045. Have a marvelous week.